Tonight, the manhunt continues for that fugitive who escaped Newport News police last night. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm David Allen. Tonight, thousands of dollars in reward money is being offered for information leading to the arrest of Daryl Pittman. Pittman fled police after a deadly car crash on Jefferson Avenue last night. The ATF and Newport News police are offering $2,500. The U.S. Marshals adding another $1,000. Robert Boyd talked to people who are worried about this potentially dangerous fugitive still on the loose. Well, the police say the suspect in this case, 19 year old Daryl Pittman, came running through this wooded area immediately following the crash. Now, the SWAT team searched for hours, but were unable to find him. And now, residents who live around here are a little bit worried because the police say this man is dangerous and he could be armed. It's very scary. It's um, it's terrifying, especially with the little kid. Sarah Gonzalez is one of many Newport News residents watching their back keeping an eye out for Daryl Pittman. I would consider Mr. Pittman um, an individual that we need to remove and get into custody from the streets of Newport News. According to Police Chief Steve Drew, Pittman is wanted on violent felony warrants. Police attempted to pull over the SUV he was in Wednesday afternoon when the vehicle fled the scene, crashing into a minivan carrying two women at the intersection of Jefferson Avenue and Bland Boulevard. From the time that the lights were activated to the point of impact of the accident was around roughly about 20 seconds. There were a total of five people inside the SUV. Four of them were detained on scene, including the driver, 18-year-old Shaquem Reynolds. Two guns were also recovered from inside the vehicle. But as for Pittman, he was last spotted running through this wooded area. Yeah, I, I can't even imagine that's some stuff out of a movie, to be honest with you. Despite an extensive SWAT team search, Pittman has yet to be caught. Do you think people who live around here should be concerned? Yes, absolutely. Because now you got a person that don't have nothing to lose and desperate. And that's a bad combination. Pittman leaves behind a trail of carnage. Inside the van were mother and daughter, the mother, 78-year-old Elizabeth Verley died from her injuries. I just think it's really tragic that something like that would happen to someone who was just driving down the street. Police believe Pittman may still be in the area. Anyone with information is being asked to call police at 1-88-LOCK-YOU-UP. I think there's probably more people involved, um, maybe hiding them, but uh, hopefully they find them soon. In Newport News, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.